today we are going to see how we can install and download the Spring Tool Suite for Macintosh based system and run our first Spring Boot program into it. So first we need to go to any web browser and we need to just type Spring Tool Suite for Mac. Okay. So onto the first website that the search result showcases spring.io we need to go to this website click on it and it will display us the four option for our system where we can download so i am going to do it for mac os based system so here it's showing us two option mac os x86 underscore 64 and mac os arm underscore 64 so i am going to download for arm based because i am using apple silicon m1 m2 based processor but if you are going to download arm then your processor should be m1 if you are having the intel based processor then you are going to download this mac os x86 64 okay so as i am working on m2 based processor so i am going to download the mac os arm underscore 64 so you just need to click on it and it will start downloading the .dmg file so it would hardly take probably some minutes or some seconds depending upon your internet speed and before that you just need to check that you guys have jdk installed on your machine if you guys don't have jdk installed and configured you can watch my previous videos and also i will be providing you the video url in the description box so as a dot dmg file spring tool suit has been downloaded we just need to go to the finder and we just need to double click on this so here it will open a prompt for spring tool suit 4 so what we need to do is just copy this spring tool suit into the applications folder so as i have already downloaded and copied the same so i am not going to do it again so you can copy the same and you can find the same over your applications folder you can see here so now i'm going to just go to the search option write spring tool suit and i'm just going to open it so by default directory it will pick workspace spring tool suit 4 as our version so i'm going to launch with it i'm going to create a first spring starter project or we can say spring boot project so basically there are two ways through which we can create a spring boot project the first one is using spring tool suit for id we can create new spring starter project or we can go to spring.io and we need to go to project spring boot and at this bottom of the page we need to scroll down and we can see quick start your project so we need to go to bootstrap your application with spring initializer we need to select our project base either maven or gradle maven language spring boot version group means package so i'm going to select my package project name so spring boot app and description packaging i would choose war and your java version so just generate it but if you want some dependencies as i want certain dependencies like spring boot dev tools i also want spring web so i also wanted to have these two dependencies into my project so i'm going to generate with these two so i can see these two dependencies have been generated with my zip file i'm going to unzip it go to the spring boot app and pom.xml we can see the project structure has been created the second way is go to spring tool suit 4 or sts type your application name choose your project type packaging language and the same java version now click on next select your dependencies so i'm selecting spring web and spring boot dev tools i'm just going to finish it so it will take probably few seconds to load your project as i have already worked on some spring boot projects so it won't take much time to load the maven dependencies but if you are doing it for the first time please wait for a few minutes because it's going to download all the dependency and you can see here at the bottom of your sts 
there is one progress bar running so after the completion of progress bar just click on your project go to src main java spring app application and we can run this go to the options right click run as spring boot app so we can see here it loaded all the beans and we can see our main application has been started here so spring has just started the spring boot project okay so to see and test it i will just create one basic controller to just check whether or not my boot project runs or not so i will name it as my controller and i'm just going to annotate it with rest controller annotation i'm just going to create one get method get data and i would choose return type to be string and return hello spring boot project and let's put it as get mapping get data okay so we can see that all the things or what whatever changes i am doing in my controller dot java class it is auto reloading or just changing the same because i have also added one more dependencies while adding the spring web with it i have added spring boot dev tools so what this spring boot dev tools does it whatever the changes you are going to make in your dot java files it automatically just sync those changes with your application so i am just going to go to my web browser just click on local host 8080 and i'm just going to type my api okay so okay i have named it as get data and i have put it here the small get data so just going to keep it okay so you can see here hello spring boot project it display the welcome message and we can see our spring boot project has been created and it is running fine so in this way you can create your spring boot project and the second way that i have shown you that through spring.io you can download the dependency for this you can just simply do you just need to go to file and you just need to import your maven project and through this also you can export your existing maven project that you have created using spring.io so through this existing maven project you just need to browse this and just go to this open and you can see it will automatically load i'm also going to show you this just click on finish it will ask you for the documents access and you can see this spring boot app has also been loaded here so in this way in these two ways to create spring boot project you can create your boot project and run in your sts and start and run your spring boot project so that's it for today thank you guys